Hi, Vampress Kiss here. And Angel. We are standing right near the uh, border. Me Mexican border. Um, it's as close as we'll ever get to another country. <laughs> uh, you can see the border patrolman there. And here's the, I guess this is like the station where they have to come through to, to get into Mexico. Um, yeah, going to Mexico is not even an option for us because I haven't even got a, a legal license. I mean, my license is legal. Well, I don't know. I'm on one of those extended license because it's not what you call, it doesn't pass the real ID, American ID Act yet. And uh, I can't get a new one until I can find my divorce decree from Billy. So. It's a cool border wall. This is uh um, so you can see they, they walk over, there's a Walmart right over there, just within walking distance, and, um, they obviously just walk right on over, you know, to shop at Walmart, probably because there's nothing really good on the other side, quite sad, and so this, this is the wall that, um, I guess is not good enough. I don't know exactly why it's not good enough. Looks to me like, you know, as long as you got one of those men or women sitting there that it is plenty good enough. Oh, check this out. We gotta walk down here a little further. Um, but I'm gonna pan the camera and you're gonna be able to see all the way down. I already passed it, but you can see like the wall. Oh, crud. And I have to get closer. God, I hope this border patrolman doesn't think I'm like onto something. Okay, there we go. Can you see that? Yes. All the way down there. You yes. can see the wall. Oh, oh my God. Can you see it? I it guess, looks like it just goes for miles and miles. I guess the other side uh, of it is very long. Yeah. So that's... So, it's, so that side is like a city almost. It is a city. It's actually the other part of this city we're standing in called Douglas. So, uh, is there like homes? Yeah, there's like people living there. They're, what's wrong with my phone? They're just like us. They're, you know, they want, um, you know, they want all the same things we do. It's just that they have, you know, they live on that side of the wall and we, and live, we on, live on this, on this side, side of the wall. That would be the difference. A huge difference but you see there I don't know if you can see it from here but you can see through that wall there so well they've actually got another wall looks like on even beyond that because I can kind of see it I can see it very yeah well. you can see it kind of through there so I imagine there's like maybe a slight empty space I don't know much about this stuff because like I said I have never been in Mexico Canada would be the furthest I've ever been out of the U.S. But, um... Wow. This is all cool. Yeah, pretty interesting. So, there's a whole bunch yeah, of... Uh, miles and miles. People that live. Actually, I can see it from way, way, way over can there, you? actually. Yeah. Yeah, if you could zoom in or... Yeah, I did zoom in, but every time I zoom in, I have trouble zooming out. Oh, yeah. You can see it right there in almost the center of the screen that uh, the wall just keeps going and going. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's whining about as far as the President of the United States saying that we need a higher wall. I mean, that wall there, I mean, you can see by the truck, that wall there's got to be... That's high. That's it's got to be like 12 feet high. Of course, it, you know, it doesn't matter how high you have it. If somebody's determined to get over here, they're going to get over here. You know, there's nothing that you can do to stop somebody. That's, you know, that's just the way it is. Ow, my knee. Sorry. So this here is the entry into, New, into Mexico. And I imagine the entry, oh, there it would be. The entry to where that black blue truck is. That would be the entry to come back into the United States. Yeah, they'd probably easily let me go from there into Mexico, but then when I got over there, I'd be stopped no matter how white my skin is. Because, and I'm not being racist about that. We have been stopped at 
quite a few uh, border checkpoints. And as soon as they see you are white, they just pass you right on through, which I personally think is very racist. I mean, they should stop and check everybody's ID. They shouldn't just assume just because I, I have white skin that I'm not a very light colored Hispanic person. I mean, look at, okay, Angel, look at, look at me. There's a half Hispanic person right there in front of you. Now, d does he, does he look half Hispanic? No, not really. Well, I've been told he looks like a coyote, which is some kind of a term that they use for the half, you know, Hispanic people. But, you know, to look at him, I think he looks just like any Caucasian person, you know, so it, it's, it's deceiving. So anyway, I just wanted to share the border. I mean, there's nobody in that border patrol truck. I suppose I could go over there and stick my arm over, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to risk it because, man, these people are, yeah, I don't know what they do. They could be like... So, um, this is Vampir's Kiss saying I'll see you all later. You want to say something? Bye. That was Angel. Bye.